We have two young Kentuckians in the coat room with us, and they are with the Junior Statesman Program. And uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves and tell us about this uh, really cool program. I, I wish that I had known about it uh, when I was your all's age. Okay, Andrea, go first. My name is Andrea Patton. I'm a 15-year-old senior at Covington Latin School in Northern Kentucky. Um, I first learned about JSA through a brochure that got sent to my house. And I've been very interested in politics for years now. Um, I have a subscription to Newsweek that I read every really? week. And I love Newsweek. And I've just always been interested in politics. So when I got the chance to come to the convention, I, I couldn't pass it up. Cool. And, and Joe, where are you from? I'm Joe Gohagan. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm 17. And I've been a political junkie since the beginning of time, pretty much. I. You have like a Jesse Jackson sticker on your <laughs> cradle or yes. something? Um, now, are you going to be old enough to vote? I will. Awesome. I just have turned 18. Awesome. So, uh, tell us a little bit about Charles' experience in Denver so far. Well, it's been a lot of fun. We actually got credentials to be in the uh, in Pepsi Center on Monday night, so we got to see cool. Michelle Obama and Nancy Pelosi and Ted Kennedy. And that was so you amazing. got to see Ted Kennedy? Yes. That I was, was outside for that. I love Ted Kennedy. Uh huh. And he was amazing. I mean, it was. It was an experience to remember forever. We also got our picture taken with Asif Mamdi and Larry Wilmore from The Daily Show. I was Perfect. Pretty, I was pretty excited about that. <laughs> nice. And uh, what are your all's plans for today? Um, today we're here at the Kentucky Delegation Breakfast for not very long. And then we have um, a number of speakers lined up through the Junior Statesman Foundation. Um, and then hopefully we'll secure credentials for tonight to see Bill Clinton. But if not, then we'll be watching it at um, the Convention Center. Cool. So, um, you all are 15 and 17, uh, what issues are on your all's minds? I mean, why is it that you're a uh, Democrat and supporting Obama this time around? Well, I guess one of the big issues for me is the war, because I'm kind of a hippie pacifist. Okay. And then the economy is big just because it's something so complicated that you don't need uh, tax cuts are never really the cure-all for the economy and usually can just exacerbate a problem. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Obama goes my way on both those big issues. Mm -hmm. And what about you, Andrea? Well, um, my mom's a Democrat and my dad's a Republican, so I've seen both sides of the issue. and. I feel very strongly with my mom that the government has a big role in taking care of its citizens, social security, health care. I think those issues are very important. Uh, most personally would be stem cell research because I'm a diabetic. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, Obama will do so much more to open that field of study to possibly cure me and to cure people with Alzheimer's and so many other diseases. They found, I mean, in other countries, they found so much success with it that I really think we should give them funding for it. Great. And do you all have any uh, plans for the fall? I mean, uh, any campaigns that you're going to be working on here in Kentucky? Well, um, my mom and I are both registered with the Obama camp. Uh -huh. um, so we'll be doing things for them. I'm not really sure what they need yet. Mm -hmm. um, I might get involved in a couple local races. Um, we'll see. I think there's a uh, state senate race that's pretty important up in northern yeah. Kentucky, Kathy Groob's race. That It's really important for us to take back the state senate as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. What about you, Joe? Yeah, I've signed up for the Obama campaign and done a little bit with them. And then uh, also John Yarmouth, our congressman. I'll be trying to keep him elected against Ann Northup, who he took the job away from two years ago. Yeah. So hopefully that can happen again. Sounds great. Well, I want to thank you all for sitting down with us and also thank you for being young people with energy who care about the right things and uh, contributing to our Commonwealth. Thank, thank you, you very much.